The next activity that I'd like to demonstrate is tap mode. This is perhaps one of the most useful features that the, uh, that the product has and uh, basically it allows the unit to behave as a switch. Uh, so um, what I've done is I've, I've taken the kinetic, in this case the kinetic for iPad, and I put it in this uh, cushion arrangement. Um, actually you could use just a standard pillow or, or, or a cushion or something of that kind uh, without any difficulty uh, because it's not important that it's kept absolutely parallel with the faces of the cube um, uh, as, as some of the other modes are. Uh, so you can certainly make your own arrangement for this. Um, now I've got it paired with uh, with the iPad already, and I've uh, I've actually got the iPad set to uh, iOS Switch Control, uh, so I can demonstrate some real um, functionality here in that you can use uh, this soft switch to be able to uh, to uh, to select items on on the screen here. Um, the iPad is set to auto scan, so literally this switch is is all I need. So if I put it back together again using the Velcro uh, like that and um, in fact just tapping it will now wake up the iPad and begin the scanning process. And once it gets to the line I want, uh, let's say we want to go into uh, the clock, then tap and then tap and in I go. Of course tap mode can be used for all of the other functions that I've uh, demonstrated in previous videos. It can be made to, uh, to uh, switch on a battery powered toy for a short while or it can be made to turn on a uh, mains appliance um, uh, and, and indeed if you uh, were to use the Simply Works version you could pair it with a receive, a Simply Works receive uh, on a PC platform so that you could use it for switch adapted apps. Uh, really the possibilities are virtually endless.